Hi everybody, Dick Coughlin here. Now, my last video uh, that I uploaded on my main channel uh, was a video responding to Lauren Chen um, about zoophilia. Now, this video has got nothing to do with Lauren Chen. Um, however, uh, in doing a, a bit of research, and you have to be very careful when researching a subject like that, even for a YouTube video, I did come across some, quite frankly, hysterical news stories, most of which are also as well as being, you know, news stories about, zoo, uh, you know, uh, animal an, animal pornography and zoophilia, they're also um, written by in by local news. Now, I have a particular love of local of local news um, outlets, whether it's websites or or newspapers, because they are they they are either just in, in dis life threateningly inane and dull. But written in a sense, written by people who are obviously trying to get somewhere uh, ahead in the in, in the journalism game. So they're written with a sensationalism as well. But this is a case where they they clearly struck it lucky, and they didn't have to, you know, sensationalise or make a big deal about the fact that all oh, that there's a cloud in the sky that's the shape of a bottom. Isn't that fantastic? So I'm going to go through. So I just wanted to read to you some of uh, the uh, some of the. These are genuine news stories I found uh, whilst researching this. Um, and here we go. Start with the first one. Young man from Wrexham, that's an unfortunate name right away, did not realise animal porn was illegal. Now, why you would even bother bringing that up, um, I, I don't know. Um, because it, it's not as if it makes a difference, does it? It's not as if it matters in the grand scheme of things court hears this is by court reporter by the court reporter of the Wrexham I can't I don't know, I can't even remember what paper this was I think it might have been the metro a young man who indulged in drunken tomfoolery now have you ever heard is there ever a, a, when you hear the words drunken tomfoolery is there anything that it what is surely the last thing that comes to your mind when describing someone looking at animal pornography would be drunken tomfoolery. Adam Penny Baker, 21, deleted them and thought no more about it, but they were illegal animal sex images and he ended up in court. Baker of Bryn Street, uh, Rub Bryn Street Rubon, admitted possessing extreme images portraying sexual images between people and animals. North East Wales Magistrates Court, it's in Wales for God's sake, this is a minor offence, was told but told Baker had not realised that these images were unlawful. District Judge Gwyn Jones, is there a more Welsh name than that, said the court took possessions of such images extremely seriously. However, it was accepted that this was in the lower category. It arose out of a degree of stupidity and tomfoolery. What tomfool? Stop using that word! This is not tomfoolery. And he had decided it was appropriate to depart from the sentencing guidelines. Baker was fined £200 with £85 costs and a £30 surcharge. There are women who do, on OnlyFans who don't charge that much. Maybe the sheep should get its own fucking page. Bethan Jones, defending, told the, told the mould baker was a man... Told, told, told the mould baker was a man of no previous convictions. Right, that meant that he hadn't been arrested for anything. It didn't mean he had he had no con he didn't believe in anything right, that we know of either. He was very quick to delete it. He was being supported by his father, and Miss jo and Miss Jones said everyone was quite surprised. Miss Jones was they always make a point of going Miss was quite surprised to be in court because all parties had expected that he would be cautioned. Who gives a flying fuck? Imagine saying that one in court. I, I must say, I'm shocked to be here, quite frankly. We all talked about it. And his dad, beaming with pride, she believed it had been, she believed it had been one image, but whether it was one or six, it was at the bottom. What do you mean it was one or six? I can accept I can accept one image being accidentally downloaded. Everybody makes mistakes, but not. But there's there is I think there is a you know I think there's a bell curve, really, in the in the suspicious in the questionable nature and the suspicion that should arise 
in the diff put for every single image that she that, that someone downloads it's like when R. Kelly was tried for 27 pieces of child pornography on his computer. Now, there is a vast difference between 1 and 27. That is a lot of unaccountable stuff. After one or two drinks too many, there had been some tom a tomfoolery again. Whoever wrote this, not a strong writer. Can you get a different word other than tomfoolery? What century are you from? And he believed they had been deleted. He had never been... How did they find out? He hoped this would not affect his future employment. Yeah, of course, sure it won't, mate. Now, this next one is from Stoke-on-Trent Live, and this takes a much more serious headline of Vile Perverts Downloaded Animal Porn on Library Computer. This motherfucker... How good does... Does it have, does the, does that porn have to be? For you to risk going to the library? I'm pretty sure they would, how did, what library has this geezer got that he could access it? A pervert who, now I've made this, I mentioned this in the video, but like, I think pervert is not, is really an unfair, you know, it's unfair to actual perverts. When I hear pervert, I don't, I don't hear, it's more of a sort of, you know, you, know, you can call someone a pervert or, you know, perv or, you know, this is a bit more, you know, you're putting people who have a foot fetish into the same category as people who download, according to this, extreme images of bestiality, as opposed to what? After using a library computer, I would have, oh God, I'd love to fucking, where's the, I want to talk to the person who works at that library. Simon Masamba was caught with the images on his phone and told police officers that they have been published by people in his homeland, the Democratic Republic of Congo, to discourage women from going to Greece and being exploited. Whoa! We need that. What? What do you mean? To stop people, the 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 the, the Congo, the Doctor Congo, Dr Congo, is producing bestiality images of bestiality to discourage women from going to Greece. I mean, there's the, there's your story right there. However, they had been downloaded from Stoke from a Stoke on Trent council PC at Stoke Library after the 58 year old had searched for animal porn. Bugger! Damn it! It's always one rookie mistake, isn't it? Now Masamba has been handed a 12 month community order. The images, three stills and three moving images. He's got OCD as well. Were discovered by police in March 2020. The defendant told police he did not know that type of porn was illegal. Then why did you lie about where you got evidence? I'm willing to believe him if he downloaded it from the fucking library. He admitted he got pleasure from looking at the images. Oh, that, all right, that's okay then. Thank God. Prosecutor Jonathan Dickinson said the defendant provided the PIN number for his mobile phone. It was forensically examined and the beastie out... This guy's a fucking idiot. What do you mean you gave them the PIN number for your phone? Oh, that pornography? Don't worry about it. That animal porn? I've got a perfectly reasonable explanation. Uh, it turns me on. I like it. You know. Yeah. That's okay, isn't it? Yeah. What? Jason Holt, mitigating, said the defendant was in work and, well, not anymore, and asked Judge David Fletcher to fo to follow the recommendations in pre-sentencing report. That, oh God, he's got a Jesus Christ. These sorts of things I have been reading about. Oh, have you now, Judge? Thank goodness I have not had to look at them. 
are horrible and sickening. Mm-hmm. Well, well, why did you... What do you mean you've been reading about them? Where? What and why? They are highly illegal. Well, fucking... No, that's why he's in court, you knob. And that is why you are here in Crown Court. Fuck. You have admitted your responsibility for this, and you are a man of 58. He still gets an erection, my friend, who has not troubled the courts previously. I am willing to accept that you probably did not realise that what you were doing was illegal. Oh, well, that's all right, then. But lack of knowledge does not provide you with a def defence. Oh, for God's sake. Now, this might be my favourite headline of all time. OAP, with dog and horse porn videos, said they didn't arouse him. A judge said his claim was obviously not true, as he kept going back for more. Well, he wanted to keep... He wanted to check. You know, he wanted to make sure. You know? Just because horse porn doesn't arouse you doesn't mean... I mean, I don't know. I mean, if you're into that, is that how it works? Albert Redmond, 70, admitted possessing extreme porn. A pensioner caught with nearly 100... 100 animal porn videos claims he wasn't sexually interested in them. No, I just watched them for a laugh. I happened to find animal porn hilarious. Albert Redmond, 70, amassed a vile collection of animal abuse footage showing adults having sex with dogs and horses. Well, at least they're adults. Let's look at silver lining here. The married dad of two said he didn't realise the files were illegal after downloading them over the course of nearly a year. I'm sorry, you're 70 years old, mate. What, what is it with people? What is it with this excuse? You know, what is it with this excuse? These people think that if, you know, why is it so many people don't know? That, that should, that's quite worrying, isn't it? It's all those gay pride marches. A judge today told the OAP, you... Only animal porn, that's what that stands for. Um, you claimed never to be aroused by these images. I just don't accept that. It's obviously not true. You clearly obtained some gratification. That's why you kept going back for more. This judge is very... He's on the money. Liverpool Crown Court. Fucking Liverpool. There's another. There's a couple of stories connected with Liverpool. What is it? What's going on up there? Heard police raided Redmond's home in Stanley Avenue, Birkdale. Andrew McInnes, prosecuting, said officers seized electronic items, including a Western, a Western something hard drive. Um, it was found to contain 93 extreme porn images, of which 68 unique or non-duplicate ones were accepted. All oh, right, so you had two copies of some of them. Just in ca what for? Is it to have a breeding pair? He said the files were down downloaded between March 25th and March 17th over the course of a year, and the majority were videos. Mr McGuinness said it was not possible to identify whether images had been distributed. There was peer-to-peer -peer software on the system. Well, does it matter? Yes, I know I've got a kilo of heroin here, m my lord, but I haven't been sharing it with anybody. When interviewed by police, Redmond admitted viewing the images. Well, fucking duh! That should be taken as a given. Who downloads 93 porn video, animal porn videos and doesn't look at them? How bad, how much bad luck would that be? You know. He said he didn't know it was illegal because he, he accessed them using normal legal search system. Yes, if you find something on Google, it's not illegal. Those are the rules. If you can... The prosecutor added that the videos were of some length were they now and they were downloaded over the a near 12 month period redmond who admitted possessing extreme porn had one previous conviction for an unrelated matter in 2013 Asker hussein defending it's them hussein brothers was this, is this the fucking is this it is this the furry honeypot adventure Defending suggested a low-level community order or fine was the most appropriate sentence. Well, you would. You're his fucking lawyer. She said this would allow Redmond to face the consequences of his actions, but also to rehabilitate him. He's 70 pissing years old. I think he's bit beyond that now, don't you? 
Ms. Hussein said her client made frank admissions when interviewed by the police and said he offend he he offended in this way simply because he was curious and it escalated. What do you mean he was curious and it escalated? What do you mean it escalated? If you do, you, you must know. You've got to know. You can't not know. He must have been around animals at some point in 70, his 70-year 70 life. Of course that's no excuse. Fucking some lawyer you are. And he did add in the interview, I quote, he knew it was immoral, but did not know it was illegal. There you go, that should make his, everyone feel a lot, lot more reassured. So, so it's whether something's illegal, not immoral. Now this one's fantastic. Man who sexually shamed his son-in-law is found to, with stash of bestiality. It should say porn in the title. I don't know why the word porn isn't in there, but just with stash of bestiality. There, you a pensioner who, a pensioner who bullied his former son-in-law and tried to shame him for his sexual preferences was later caught with hundreds of photos of bestiality. Paul Manifold, 72! What is it with pensioners in this country? Jesus Christ almighty! Which is a knock-on effect of Viagra. Tried to sabotage his, 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 vict his victim's chances of being taken on as a coach at a sports club and bombarded him with texts and Facebook messages, including one that read, I will inform your friends about your dirty little secret claiming he had been cross-dressing. Yeah, not as a, unfortunately not as a pantomime horse. Uh, police searched Manifold's home in Coventry, West Midlands, in March and discovered 117 pictures showing women having sex with animals on his computer. Now that's too much. Hannah, and, you know, women having sex with animals is one thing, but images showing women having sex with animals whilst standing on his computer. That is a specific fetish. The dad was arrested and on Monday admitted sending malicious communication and possessing extreme pornog pornography. He was sentenced to six months in prison, six months suspended for 12 months and made the subject of a, to a restraining order banning him from contacting the victim and presumably going to any, any farms or zoos nearby. Warwick Crown Court heard the pensioner's hate campaign lasted two years from the point his daughter's marriage ended. Graham Simpson, prosecuting, said man, Manifold, man eyes fucking old, um, wrote on Facebook the victim dresses in women's clothes and takes selfies to post online. Well, obviously he's going to take selfies to post online. You don't take selfies to post them anywhere else, do you? Manifold also accused him of sending photos of himself, pleasuring himself in a field. Alongside animals, presumably, that were standing there, which he was jack because he was standing in front of the animals? Is that what pissed you off? Manifold claimed he sent the messages because he was concerned ab about his former son-in-law coaching young boys at a local cricket and rugby clubs. <laughs> Fucking rugby, bloody hell! If, it's, if they're like any rugby clubs I've known, fucking, you know, knobbing a sheep's probably an initiation. God, I bet he feels like a right dicky doodah now. During sentencing, Judge Sylvia de, de, de Bertadano Bert, said Mr. Manifold never suggested his victim was doing anything illegal. It was just things he didn't like because he doesn't like the idea of people having different sexual preferences. I don't think that's the problem, quite clearly. The judge added, we protect people in this country for their sexual preferences unless they are illegal, in which case, they, they, in, this, in, which in this case they're certainly not. There is no question of this man being a danger to children. Um, your daughter's marriage ended and that is always very distressing, distressing for a parent. However, you know that what you should not have done is, is what you did. That's a great way of putting it, which was to make these communications about your son-in-law. You say the purpose was to warn clubs that he had coached children and he uh, and what he was like, 
and you were successful in that that he is now unable to coach children because of allegations you made you dirty goat fucking wanker the judge described it as somewhat ironic yeah, this is what Alanis Morissette was singing about that when Manifold's computer was examined it showed hundreds of examples of criminal sexual behaviour you really were not in any position to victimise anyone else well thank you very well done judge yes Iro- ironic is a, is a, is a it's one way to put this. Jailed the dad who claimed he didn't know it was a crime to share videos of child raping animals. <laughs> 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 he didn't know. Why do people not know this is illegal for fuck's sake? A pervert dad who shared sickening child rape videos and animal porn has been jailed. Fart, fartum, 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 but his name is Fartum, oh for fuck's sake, a married driver from Warrington claimed he didn't have sexual interest in children, but pol- he just thought it was hilarious to share it with people. Have you seen this? Cool. The things kids do nowadays. Pol- police found around 30 indecent images on his laptop during a raid of his home in, se- in December 2018. He told a court, I really, really don't know, didn't, don't know this is a crime. What do you mean you don't know? You should know now. You mean you didn't know? You do definitely know now, my friend. But a judge saw through his lies and jailed him. So reports the fucking Liverpool Echo. What is it with Liverpool? One of the three videos of child rape sent by a 46-year-old involved two boys engaged in a sexual act with a donkey. Another video sent to a doctor, sent to a doctor in Germany, involved two 12-year-old girls. What, just random doctor in Germany? In another, a mature female abused a boy between five and seven. Where does he get this shit? Basri told a judge at Liverpool Crown Court he didn't know sharing the images uh, uh, was it was a crime and that he did it out of disgust. What do you mean you did it out of disgust? You did it out of you shared it with people. Here, look at this. What abs- This is the shittest excuse ever. <laughs> Learning he had been jailed with the help of an interpreter. God, that's a fucking brilliant job. How did she not piss herself fucking into dehydration? I don't know. I really, really don't know this is a crime and wouldn't know, wouldn't know that by sending this to somebody else to show the disgusting matter is going to cause me this problem. You didn't... My God, when you, my friend, are a fucking moron. Some of the images were automatically loaded onto another piece of equipment there was some element of duplic. Oh well, who's bollocks? A bollocks. And I don't need a B because the A was so great. Grandfather convicted of possessing animal porn. De- Again, old age bastards. What is wrong? What is wrong with you? A grandfather who claimed who claimed police planted an illegal DVD in his home has been found guilty of possessing extreme animal porn. During a two-day trial, Brian Dawson had told the court he, he could not explain how a compilation of nine videos showing men and women engaged in sexual activity with a variety of animals came to be in his living room of his greater Great, great Lever flat. A jury, the jury of eight men and four women heard prosecution barrister Graham Robinson tell how police raided the 59-year-old Dawson's first floor flat in Gainfield Walk in the early hours of March 20th. Two DVD cases were seen by officers on a table beside a sofa. One contained a disc of legal adult pornography, but the second, labelled safe, contained illegal extreme... Well, there's your fucking... God, how did they work that one out? How did the police crack that one? Pornography is not to everybody's taste. Generally, the possession of pornography is not a criminal offence, Mr. Robinson told the jury, but there are some exceptions to the general rule. You can tell this guy's been a fucking lawyer for a while. PC Daniel Parr told the court that the DVDs were clearly visible on top of the table, but Dawson denied he had ever seen them. 
probably giving you a baseball the amount of, amount of DVDs he owned. He was probably wagging himself to sleep. Probably couldn't see at this point. Giving evidence, he said, pornography disgusted him. And he has grandchildren. Yes, we know. P as, listen, mate. If there's one thing that we've learnt, for, I've learnt from this fucking in in making this fucking video. And if there's one thing anyone watching this video has learnt, that being a grandfather is fucking the last fucking defence you should put in. In fact, I think. In fact, I'm going to assume it's a default. Every time I meet a geezer who's over the age of 65, I'm going to assume well, he's obviously into animal pornography. Dawson, who lives alone, I'm not fucking surprised. He's leaving porn on the fucking coffee table in the front room. Claimed that the only DVDs in his living room were in an un un unopened box set of Fred Dibner films. <laughs> and the tabletop held nothing but his father's ashes. <laughs> A photograph of his dad and an ashtray. <laughs> Files from the Wor Wor Worcester, from the Worcester, Wor Worcester, it's Worcester, Worcester News. Crime Files: Perverted Plumber Downloaded Animal Porn. And there's his face, in case you were too sure. Andrew Wallace, prosecuting, said the images were found on a Samsung mobile and a Samsung laptop. Great advert for Samsung here and cover a period between October 26th and November the 1st in 2016. He said, on both news items there were bestiality images. The defendant kept his head lowered throughout the fucking, fucking right he did. Mr. Wallace said Maguire had searched for zoo sex and animal porn websites. <laughs> the images involved a variety of animals and an adult human female, just so you know, he's not completely said Mr. Wallace, was Gromit his defence <laughs> Judge Jim Tyndall said, probably that's all that needs to be said about that, I would have thought, yes, fucking right. <laughs> oh, shit. Mr. Wallace said the maximum sentence that could be imposed was one of... <laughs> He viewed the images, he said, out of curiosity. His father was convicted of indecent images several years ago. Was he the first geezer? And he said he wanted to view the images out of curiosity to see whether he was like his father. Oh my God, why? Dude, would that, would, if you're, if there's a chance you, but do you want to know? Do you honestly want to know that? I think you would know. I think there's just something innate that you know. I must find this out. I must know. I must know the truth. Why? Don't fucking find out the truth. You absolute fucking ring. Judge Tindall said, Mr. Maguire, you are a man of middle age who has not been in trouble for a considerable period of time. You need to make sure, if this was curiosity, that it never ever happens again. Every time someone like you clicks on one of these images, whatever your motive for doing it, you fuel the trade in those images and therefore the... <laughs> I'm sorry, what the fucking absolute fuck? And in a headline that should shock no one, if you've made it this far in the video, animal pornography offences increase around Merseyside. No fucking shit! <laughs> Huge majority of people charged under extreme pornography laws are in possession of images of, anim of animals. <laughs> A shocking 93% of people charged under extreme pornography laws on Merseyside had images of animals and humans having sex in their position. Well, what else were they going to be? Of course they're going to be animals or humans. What else are you going to have? Vault Romulans? Ghosts? Of course you've got... Freedom of information request by Liverpool Echo revealed that 174 people uh, charged with having sick images, the majority, 162, had images involving animals. Does that matter? What, you know, is this... 
At least 30 people in Merseyside have been charged this year under Criminal Justice and Immigration Act, which makes it illegal to look at images which threaten the life of participants, show damage to people's genitals, <laughs> or Im images involving animals, dead or alive. Last year, 47 people were charged with looking at one category or more of these disturbing images. The highest since these offences were introduced. It's on the rise. It's a gap in the market, people. In the last five years, all but one of the people charged under the law were men. So, of course, the first person they look at in the article is the fucking woman. <laughs> Not all men. <laughs> one woman. Wendy Jones, 54, there, celebrating, coming out of court, like an absolute fucking gangster. But the one woman, Wendy, Wendy Jones, from Morton, was given a 12-month community order in July after she amassed a sick stash. I'm assuming by sick you mean disgusting, not sick as in well fucking... <laughs> that is well sick. Pictures of women having sex with horses, dog, and a pig. Horses, dogs, a single pig. Just one pig. Right. She has handed the order. Uh, she was handed the order after admitting six counts of possessing animal porn between August 12th and August 16th. She should go to Sweden. Earlier this year, uh, earlier this year, Jacob. Jacob, this was great. Earlier this year, Jacob Adir from Hay from Haydock, Haydock from Haydock was given a suspended sentence after police. Uh, Police uh, found sexual images involving a corpse in his sickening collection. And there he is there. <laughs> this is brilliant. Police raided the 21-year-old's house after he asked a 15-year-old girl to send him topless pictures and discovered extreme pornography. Well, that's a bit of a giving, isn't it, the second one? If you do, if you do number, you know, this is, this is correlation. This is cause and effect, really, isn't it? It shouldn't come as much as a surprise. Brian Dempsey, a lawyer and academic who specialises in these offensive, what a fucking great job that is, told the Echo that while some people were people occasionally stumbled across these images, no one, nobody stumbles across this shit. Nobody. By accident, or were sent them by a friend, they are all, all they are, they are all also often a gateway. I have never, in the years I have been, I'm 41 years old, I have never been friends with people, of all the people I have known, I have never sent, nor been sent, fucking child and animal pornography. As a laugh. Anyway. I hope you've enjoyed this video, I certainly have. Fucking hell. Take care, bye bye.